Hey YouTube, this is Spencer. Um, I'm going to be showing you how I deal with the bungee top banana today. Um, so I'm going to be digging this banana out and killing it. Um, this is something that I cut down about a month ago. Um, and what I did first was I safer soaped it after I saw the symptoms. Safer soaped it to kill the aphids and then I cut it down and I tarped it. Um, so that will hopefully kill the aphids and kill the banana. Uh, stock, the stem material. Um, so after I tarp it like this, let it sit for a while, and then now I'm going to come back, untarp it, and dig it out. Um, so I'll show you my tools that I've got lined up over here, and I'll show you the procedure. So first of all, I use safer soap. You can use uh, dish soap as well. Um, you just need to kill the aphids. Um, so this kills them on contact, so it's great. I've got it mixed up right here, ready to go. And then I've got a pickaxe, because that's uh, our easiest tool to dig here. Um, I've got an OO bar in case I need to do any prying. And then I've got my, my handy tool that my friend made um, that I use to chop up the corn. Um, sometimes I'll use it to harvest. Uh, sometimes I'll use it to harvest bananas as well. Um, it's just a great chopper tool. You use it for digging, all kinds of things. Um, so yeah, let's open up the tarp and I'll show you what's going on. Let's see, let's fold it back this way. Kind of gross. So this here was an old compost pile. Uh, so that's why I planted this banana right here. And then, yeah, things got a little... It was nice and vigorous. It was about eight feet tall. Um, and then it started showing symptoms of bunchy top, so I came and just cut it right down. It took about five minutes to cut it down, tarp it. Not too big a deal, but we can pop in here and we can kind of see what's going on. So pull the leaves away. So you can see the stems are trying to regrow under there. I've got my trunks here. So I'm not worried about these trunks. I'm gonna leave them alone, but as I can see here, if you can see, I don't really know. Um, it's got a ton of aphids on it. So that's bad. Uh, so I need to kill those aphids. The aphids are the vector, the spreader of uh, bunchy top. Just gonna mix that up. Get them all sprayed up. Now I'm going to let that sit for a couple minutes and then I'm going to come back um, and dig it out. So the methodology will be dig it out with around with the, um, with the pickaxe and then pry underneath it to pop it out of the ground. Uh, I'll do a time lapse of that to kind of show that procedure. Um, and then I chop it up with this tool and then it's dead. Um, and at that point I can mulch the trunk and stuff. Uh, since there was so many aphids I'm probably just going to tarp it again. Uh, that seems like just the easiest scenario. Um, I'll show you the procedure. Alrighty, I'm finished with digging out that banana and now I'm done. So just quickly, uh, I did cover this up because uh, the amount of aphids was pretty uh, gnarly. So whatever, just tarp it. Typically I wouldn't tarp it. Typically I would mulch the trunks onto a favorable tree and then just let the corms die on the ground there. Um, but yeah, that's the most that's the most aphids I've ever seen um, off of a tarped plant. So I just figured safer it some more, cover it up. Let's just let them die. Look like the aphids were already dead. Um, so yeah, that took about 10 minutes to dig out that banana and deal with that whole situation. Um, it took me longer to bring out my tools and set up the camera and make my first video than it did to actually do the work. So bananas can be really easy to dig them out if you treat them like annuals. Check out our previous video on that. Um, so we keep them small, easy to dig out when we find problems with them, just like that. That plant was, you know, the Top of the plant was probably somewhere around here or so, and then, you know, it had its leaves above that. It was really vigorous, really healthy. I thought it was a great spot. Bunchy Top came in, whatever, killed it. I didn't see weevils, so it was Bunchy Top. 
So scary the aphids, but I dealt with it as best I can. Um, so that's really all we can do with bananas. Uh, digging in the rocks is sometimes actually easier than digging in soil. Uh, the roots just pop. Super easy to just dig around and pop it out, right? That was really fast. Uh, so thanks for watching. Kill your bananas when they're sick. Uh, it's that easy. Uh, keep them small, deal with them effectively, deal with them immediately, and deal with them. It's the only way we can continue growing these endangered genetics. We really love our bananas. I literally eat bananas every day, sometimes three meals a day. So this is what it takes to grow bananas like that. And I've got other bananas over there. Uh, I don't really have any in this other area. There's one way over there. So I thought this was a pretty isolated spot, but things happen. All right, thanks for watching. See you around.